Yes, uh, hello and welcome everyone to today's uh, Q&A with uh, Flexion. Uh, with me I have Jens Lorenzson, CEO of Flexion. Welcome. Good morning. How are you? Uh, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, you reported uh, your Q2 numbers this morning and, and uh, uh, well, you have successfully grown revenues this, uh, this uh, six months of your fiscal years. It's up over 150%. Uh, what is driving this newfound pace and how do you view the, the long-term uh, growth uh, prospects? Well, it was a f fantastic result, another record quarter that we re uh, reported uh, this morning. So, uh, very pleased with that, obviously. Uh, what's driving the growth? Uh, I mean, in the early part of the year, we had, uh, as everyone else, uh, uh, positive impact from the corona lockdowns everywhere in the world. Uh, we we are now go, uh, going into lockdowns again, so we will see how that impacts uh, uh, the growth further during the year and early part of next year. But I think that uh, for us wasn't the main driver. Uh, we we have seen, as we reported, uh, uh, fantastic growth in the uh, um, Huawei channel, the uh, app gallery. Um, and that's uh, it's gone uh, over the last 12 months. It's basically gone from nothing to to be becoming our biggest channel. And that just goes to to show how com committed they are to to actually uh, becoming a big player. So so that's great for us. The uh, yeah the 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 other thing is uh, we have a couple of top titles now that are really starting to perform well. And where we I think we mentioned in the report that. Uh, we are seeing titles that are making over half a million dollars a month uh, on average. Uh, so, I mean, this is uh, this is an opportunity that uh, most developers can't really ignore anymore. So, so, so that that's uh, of course one of the big drivers as well. And you mentioned that uh, that the Huawei App Gallery is becoming your biggest quarter uh, or biggest channel now in the quarter. Uh, can you describe a little bit more about your plan uh, with this uh, specific col collaboration? Well, I mean, uh, they're now become our biggest uh, partner, and uh, uh, it's of course as such they are they're a very important uh, uh, partner of ours. Uh, we are working, and we're trying to do that with everyone uh, uh, to work together on business development activities to to drive more developer awareness. Uh, uh, nowadays, there's not so many shows, physical shows, as uh, uh, they used to be. But uh, we're attending uh, their their shows. They have quite a lot of marketing uh, planned, um, and uh, of course, some great devices coming out. And it'll be interesting to see how their non non GMS devices uh, uh, fare in the in in the, in the Western markets. But we're we're uh, very positive and hopeful about that. So, so we'll see. But we continue business as usual. And, and uh, on another topic on the fragmented Android market, you we have some big players starting to challenge the monopolistic behaviors of Google and Apple when it comes to the app stores. Uh, how do you view this situation, and what do you think it will mean for Flexion in in the next coming years? I mean, this is something we've been talking about for a long time, and it finally starts to happen, uh, even over in the U.S., uh, where the U.S. government have uh, sued uh, Google for 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 monopolistic behavior. So, so I think this is a this is a a, a natural step in the right direction, if you if you see what I mean. Uh, we uh, we think it will help developers because there is a fear factor in the market. Uh, uh, someone told me you don't want to beat the bear, uh, uh, and I think it's particularly visible in the, uh, over in the, uh, North America, uh, where you where Google and Apple are so dominant. Uh, in the rest of the world, it's less so, but uh, I do think that um, when players like Epic and uh, not only in the game segment but also, of course, Spotify uh, that we are familiar with in Sweden. Uh, the, when they make uh, make these kind of uh, steps, uh, it, it will have impact sooner or later. And I think this is good for for for, for everyone in the ecosystem. Uh, everyone will will 
will uh, thrive when the market opens up and there's more competition, particularly for the consumers. And uh, uh, now to, uh, on towards your more your service and your offering, can, can you tell us a bit more on what you're working on to strengthen your offering towards uh, game developers? What new features are you implementing? Well, I mean, it's a, this is a constant uh, improvement and we we want to make sure that we keep our first mover advantage. We have a unique service offering in the market. Uh, uh, I'll take this opportunity to talk a little bit about uh, some of our competition. Uh, uh, Unity has uh, 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 very recently IPO'd, is, is the, one of the biggest uh, gaming development platforms in the market. They have they have launched something called the uh, Unity Distribution Portal. Uh, we don't consider that to be a, a, comp a competition to us because they come in more on the tool side uh, and basically offer a, a, a do-it-yourself solution. Whereas Flexion, we work very closely with the biggest game developers in the market and uh, we've designed a service offering that basically helps them uh, with most of their problems for starting very early in the phase with the with integration and ending with the reporting and settlement. So we basically take care of everything in that uh, during that journey, so to say. Uh, and and to complement that service offering is something that we're working on regularly. So so you'll see more features coming there. I can't specifically go in, into to exactly what features uh, we will be releasing, but that's a constant uh, work in progress. Perfect. And, and uh, just to round this off, you're now entering uh, the busy Christmas period where, where we tend to play a lot of games during the holidays. Uh, what will be most important for Flexions to, to be successful during this uh, time of year? I mean, we always see, uh, we always see a good take up during, uh, during the holidays and it usually starts around the end of November with Black Friday and Cyber Monday and over, particularly in the US. Uh, we've be, got some uh, fairly big promotions planned for some of our top games. Uh, and this, this continues into the, the Christmas period. We, we announced, uh, we launched four games uh, during the quarter uh, that we just reported. And uh, those games will, uh, will start uh, gaining some momentum during the Christmas quarter. Uh, that's at least what we're hoping for. Uh, so, as you know, it's, it always takes a little bit of time to get the get the steam going, uh, as we depend very much on organic traffic. But having now uh, having a, a portfolio of twenty titles or so, uh, we can leverage that, uh, particularly with the with the channels like Huawei and uh, Amazon and Samsung. So so we're we're looking forward to to a great Christmas period. I think the the first part of the the quarter will be uh, quite stable, and then uh, and then we'll we'll start gaining momentum as we come further into the quarter. And uh, just uh, the other week, we started seeing some new uh, lockdowns in in Europe. Uh, have, have you seen any effect on uh, on your established portfolio uh, uh, because of the lockdowns, or or not? No, I, uh, we we have been under constant restrictions uh, in most part of, of Europe. Uh, uh, I mean, as a matter of fact, today we we are, we we're in uh, full lockdown uh, mode in in the UK. Uh, so you know, you can still go to work if you have to, uh, like this important interview. <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, it's uh, I, I don't uh, expect any major change. I think it was. Uh, uh, I think the market was kind of taken by surprise uh, earlier in the year, but we got used to it now. So, so I think I, I, I'm not expecting to see any further positive impact. But uh, who knows? Uh, uh, combined with Christmas period and uh, and uh, you know people wishing for 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 Christmas gifts like the new new shiny devices, maybe maybe we we uh, we should look forward to to another great uh, great uh, period at uh, end of this quarter. Who knows? Okay, perfect, uh, Jens. Then I would like to thank you for this uh, Q&A session and hope to hear more from you in the future. Thank you. Cheers.